Steam friends and family, my name is Mr. Diallo. With today's daily Steam show, I'm bringing you guys with Mr. Tyler with the Avocado C demo. After that, we have Mr. Jose and Mr. Wilson presenting admission infos. After that, we have Miss Pauline doing a repurposing of clean water bottles. Then to end that, we have Mr. Chris doing the clean play of the week. With no further ado, I send you guys off to Mr. Tyler. Some of the fruit we buy to eat contain seeds that will actually germinate and sprout a living plant given the right conditions. Sometimes this happens unintentionally if you throw your food scraps in a compost pile, but it is also easy to save seeds and intentionally germinate them if we know what conditions are required. If you are interested in growing a house or garden plant using food that would normally go to waste, germinating and planting avocado seeds is one simple solution. If you have an avocado pit, first clean all of the remaining edible fruit from it. This will reduce the chance of mold or rotting. Find a container, such as a drinking glass or plastic water bottle cut in half, and suspend the seed over the top so that the bottom half of it is submerged in water. This can be achieved by sticking three equally spaced toothpicks into the seed, but I have also had success using rubber bands. I saved and reused some plastic dental picks for this seed. Replace the water every few days and keep the seed out of direct sunlight. Usually within a week, but sometimes longer, a crack will form in the seed and roots will begin to grow from the bottom. Soon after, a stalk will start to emerge from the top. The seed will grow like this for quite a while if you continue to change the water and it doesn't get too much sunlight but eventually you will want to transfer it to a pot with soil if you want it to continue growing. Keep the seed exposed above the soil so that it won't rot. At this stage, the plant should still mostly be exposed to early morning light and might become damaged if given too much sunlight. I recommend an east facing window sill. If you want the tree to grow large, it suggested that you trim the stalk back to three inches after it becomes six inches tall, and then back to six inches after it has grown to one foot. This will encourage branching and create a bushier tree. If you want to plant the tree in the ground after your tree has matured and seems strong enough, choose a spot that has full sunlight and protection from the wind. Avocado trees can take at least six or seven years to begin bearing fruit, and even then, there is no guarantee that it will resemble the fruit you originally took the seed from. Many seeds are actually sterile and incapable of producing the flowers and pollen necessary for fruit growth. It is possible to grow fruit-bearing trees that self-pollinate or require another tree nearby to pollinate, but the most common method is grafting on the branch of a tree that is already producing edible fruit. If successful, these grafted branches will continue producing avocados for many years. Thank you, Mr. Tyler, for the avocado seed demo. Right now, I'm sending you guys to Mr. Jose and Mr. Wilson for their emission information. Carbon emissions, sometimes called greenhouse gases, is just the release of carbon into the atmosphere, specifically carbon dioxide. So what is carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide is a naturally occurring greenhouse gas that helps keep the planet warm. Except too much carbon dioxide can heat up the planet. So then, how much carbon emissions is emitted in each household? On average, is about 7.5 tons of carbon dioxide per year, and a typical passenger car emits 4.6 metric tons per year. How does your household do? Well, introducing the carbon calculator. You, following this link, you can use a calculator to figure out how much carbon emissions your household and or vehicle produce during the year. And now here we have our household carbon footprint calculator. We'll be calculating how much carbon emissions a household can produce based on this example by how much kilowatt per hour electricity they produce on their electric bill. So as an example, we'll put in 800. Once we do that, we'll go ahead and press the button and figure out how much we produce. And it looks like 0 0.38 per month, since phone bills are at a per month basis. So we'll be taking this number, the 0 0.38,
plug it into the calculator and multiply it by 12 for 12 months to get how much we produce per year. See? And so the result is 4.56 metric tons of carbon dioxide per year. We're going to go ahead and compare this to the average amount of carbon dioxide emissions per year of an average household, and we'll see 4.5 versus 7.5. We This household made a lot less through their electrical bill. That is a very good thing. So for our next example, we'll take how much a typical passenger vehicle emits per year. All right. So we'll click on the next tab and see how many miles this would take. So as an example, we'll be going from Brandy to the Golden One Center. And so we'll figure out how many miles that is. And that would be all 11 miles. See right here. And we'll take this number and plug it into the calculator. 11 miles. Well. We also have to include there and back. So not 11, 22. Now we'll put in the date of the car, we'll say it's a 2000 Toyota Camry. There's Camry, there it is. And you can pick automatic or manual, but for this we'll do automatic and we'll see that the metric ton per mile in one day is 0 0.01. And so we're gonna plug that into the calculator, but instead of months this time, we're, we're thinking in days. And so we'll put in 256 days of the year, not the full 356, and we'll get 2.56 metric tons of carbon dioxide per year. We'll take that number, compare it to the 4.6, and we'll see that we've made a lot less carbon dioxide emissions than the average typical car due to not driving every single day. Now back to Diallo. Thank you, Mr. Jose. Thank you, Mr. Wilson, for that helpful, helpful emissions info. Right now, guys, I'm sending you guys to Ms. Pauline with her wonderful repurposing water bottles. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be demonstrating a water bottle garden. Mr. Christian went ahead and put this slideshow together for us. Now, our first step, find a plastic bottle and cut it in half. You can use a plastic bottle a milk carton, or any type of plastic jug. Your second step, get some soil and a seed of your choice. Add a good amount of soil to the bottom of the bottle or whatever it is that you use. And then you drop the seed in and add a bit more soil. Step four, put it somewhere safe and with good sunlight. Make as many as you want and start your own water bottle garden. Thank you, Mr. Christian. Back to you, Mr. Diallo. Thank you, Ms. Pauline, for showing us all the cool ways you can reuse a water bottle. Right now, for the last part of our show, we have Mr. Chris doing the clean play of the week. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2020 season here on Earth tonight. We have George Medina versus CO2. Today we have bins as usual for Mr. Medina with a car that gets barely 10 miles to the gallon usually produces a lot of CO2 emissions which isn't good for our earth. Mr. Medina averages about 7 metric tons per year with his car. If not careful, his emissions of CO2 will eventually going to keep heating the earth and will be, it will be destroyed. Well folks, first I think he's going to take the bike today by the way he's looking at it. Oh, but let's see what he's going to decide. There he goes. Oh no, he says no! And boom! Down the line and there goes Gabby with a push to the floor! Oh man, what a block! Did you see that? You don't like that! You don't like CO2 emissions! Hi, right, Mr. Chris. Thank you for that clean play of the week. I'm telling you guys, it's my favorite part every single time. With that, with that thing said and done, I want to wish everybody a happy Earth Day. Please stay inside, stay safe. If you guys are going out, make sure you have the, your, hand, your hand sanitizers and your mask, please, 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 try to talk to one another, send each other texts, FaceTime, whatever you gotta do, and without anything else I have to say, I've been your host, Mr. Yellow, good night.